everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm going to take you along as I travel to Seattle, Washington for work. I have been to Seattle before, um, but this is my second time going. Um, like I said, I had some work obligations out there. I love Seattle. It's a nice bustling city. Um, a lot of middle age people here, um, you know, definitely trying to figure out life, but it's also very plush and green. Like it's a nice city, but it also has a lot of greenery. So that's definitely what I love about it being a country girl. Um, and so uh, I did take an Uber everywhere. Of course, I did not rent a car. Um, I stayed at the Hyatt Olive 8, which was immaculate. Listen, this is probably the best hotel I've ever stayed at in my life. Can I say my life? Yeah, probably in my life. Um, so they did have a full spa, including a nail boutique, um, a sauna, a uh, massage tables, all that good stuff. And then of course they had all types of products here as well. I did not get to partake in any of this this time. Again, I had a pretty long work trip, but all my days were filled with work. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to lollygag. Um, so I did just uh, run through the hotel just to see what amenities they had. They had a huge pool. This was very nice. So my job did it big this time, y'all. Listen, I was on the 12th floor. <laughs> felt like royalty okay <laughs> so when I got into my room I was very surprised at the type of room they gave me which was a corner room so on uh you know this room was filled with windows there was a beautiful view again this was one of the best hotels I had stayed at the service and the staff was amazing I had zero complaints about this hotel I mean zero everything was nice and fresh and clean every day um, it was just great, but it was a lot of space. Um, of course, I had to have my king size bed because, I mean, you know, just because I'm on a work trip don't mean I can't be comfortable. Um, again, and it had very nice uh, city views as well. Um, this was also really nice at night. I didn't get to capture any of that, but um, a lot of the buildings had like night lights and skylights and stuff like that. And so it was it was really, really nice. Um, this was a nice big room and I was definitely going to get comfortable. So in order to do that, I had to go through and sanitize everything. Listen, if you know, you know, I have to spray down everything when I go in a hotel room. It doesn't matter how clean it looks like this is just what I have to do for my sanity. I spray the bed, I pull the covers back, I spray that, I spray the remote, I spray any and all services that I might touch. And I do this as soon as I get there, just so that I don't have to do it constantly while I'm there. I don't have to worry about, did I spray that down? I go ahead and I spray everything down before I get any type of comfortable in any hotel room. I spray all the handles, I go in the bathroom, spray the sink, faucet, everything. Anything that I might touch or that I know I will touch, I am definitely spraying it down. The toilet got to be sprayed down because who got time to be lining that bad boy with toilet paper? Like, <laughs> if you know, you know, I have to be comfortable. Now, some people mopping the floors and they wiping the walls down when they come in and they bring their own towels and all that. Listen, you do what you are most comfortable doing. These are the things that I've gotten into a routine doing and this is what is going to make me comfortable. So this is definitely what I do. I just go through and spray all the surfaces and handles of every day. And then after that, I just go back and just wipe everything off. Again, wiping all the surfaces down. Again, this was a very clean hotel, so um, I maybe could have skipped some of this stuff, but I definitely did not. So after all that cleaning, I decided to go get something to eat. And listen, I'm not going to be able to talk and tell y'all where all these restaurants were, so I will definitely link them in the description in the video. I ate a lot of good food in Seattle, okay? And, and and it wasn't just good because my job was paying for it. Like, it was really genuinely good. Um, these bao buns, I think they call them, which is like a steamed bun. This is becoming one of my absolute favorites. Um, at this doze on place, I had the bao bun. Uh, and then I had some of these pot stickers, which was really good. Again, all the food that I had in Seattle was really, really good. Um, and I just take, I want to take a moment to apologize y'all. I actually caught a bug or something coming back from Seattle. So I'm definitely very stopped up right now. So if it sounds like I'm out of breath or that my nose is stopped up, it's because it is. 
The next place I went to was Tidal. Uh, Tidal was actually attached to the hotel. Um, they, uh, this was a very like sophisticated place. It was really nice, it was really cute. I felt really fancy in here drinking this drink. Um, the food was really good. The service was amazing. Um, again, I didn't try anything that I did not like. The shrimp tempura was awesome. The, uh, for my main entree, I did get the salmon and the leek risotto. This place was a little pricey, but it was fresh seafood, um, and you could tell it was fresh. It was like quality ingredients. You could definitely tell they had a good chef in the back. Um, and so uh, I did do a couple of other places that I weren't able to film, but I do remember this breakfast sandwich um, from the hotel. It had like a bacon jam on it, y'all. This was so, so good. I got it like two mornings in a row. Um, this one here, this was some Vietnamese food that I got off of a food truck. I have no idea what the name of it was. I don't even remember it. Um, but it was like a pulled chicken leg with white rice and then like a vegetable salad. And then it had like a boiled egg to it. And then they also had these uh, sauces that went with it as well. So the sauces were really good. Uh, one was like a chipotle mayonnaise and one was like a some other type of spicy sauce. Um, they tasted very similar, but uh, they were really, really good. Like I ate all of this. <laughs> um, and then uh, the next day, I believe this was for dinner, I had this chorizo queso uh, at this place called uh, Cactus, I believe. And then I had a pulled chicken enchilada with rice and this had pumpkin seeds on it. Y'all, this was really good. Again, I didn't eat anything that was not good in Seattle. Um, and it's crazy because the people that I talked to in that live in Seattle, like they said they were not impressed with the food, but I really enjoyed the food in Seattle. Uh, I did go to one place that was on the pier that was down by the water. Um, and it was called Pub 70. They had a really nice sangria. These were the Brussels sprouts. And then I actually had the fish tacos. The seafood in Seattle is just, it's fresh. I'm telling you, it is fresh, fresh. And then my last night, I really wasn't feeling too hot, so I just ordered food in my hotel. This was Dave's Hot Chicken. Um, I got the chicken tender sandwich, the mac and cheese, and the fries. The fries were good. They were seasoned to the gods. The chicken sandwich was amazing. It was so big, I could hardly bite it. The macaroni cheese was just mediocre, though. So thank y'all for watching. Thanks for coming along with me to Seattle. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.